Good morning. Welcome to this morning's version of bathrobe tarot. Um, yes, I'm in the bathrobe this morning. Um, so today's card is the Seven of Swords. Um, this may indicate that you're feeling like, you can see he's like gathering up the swords and running away with them, that something has been taken from you or that somehow you've been cheated or feeling deceived. Um, uh, it, it also warns that you want to be careful not to become your own worst enemy because sometimes <clears throat> paranoia can kick in. You can think that think bad things are happening around you. <clears throat> but really, um, you want to celebrate the fact that um, you made this plan before coming here. You've co-created with spirit how this is all going to play out. So while you might be feeling down in the dumps about something or feeling like somebody has taken something from you, um, and maybe they have, maybe they have physically taken something or maybe they have mentally taking, taken something from you, don't give in to it. Just know that, that this is part of the plan. Um, it may not feel good. And just know that um, these hard lessons, these hard lessons of um, are, are actually really good for our soul and good for our learning. And just know that that it's all going to actually work out the way it's supposed to. Um, I'm going to pull one more card for clarification, see if it helps. Ah, the high priestess. The high priestess um, challenges us to pull back the veil and and use our intuition. We know we know in our hearts and souls like what is right and what's wrong and what the real situation is. So if if you feel like something you're being cheated of something or something's just not working out the way you're supposed to, then Take a minute or two, meditate, pray, whatever, just moments of quietness to where you can say, okay, listen, this is stressful. Um, why would I have planned this? Why would I have co-created this with spirit? Why would I have decided that this is going to be happening in my life at this point? Um, <clears throat> and you'll learn some really valuable lessons, I think. Um, I think if, when we come into conflict, instead of saying, oh my gosh, my life's over, this is terrible, a lot of times it's just better to go, okay, all right, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. How can I learn from this and how can I become better from this? And what can I do? Because clearly something's not working. I'm at a, at a T in the road, I'm at a roadblock. I need to figure out if I'm gonna go right or left. No matter what, the GPS is going to reroute you and lead you to the same lesson. So either you could take the short path or you could take the hard, crazy path. I prefer the short path. If I'm gonna to have to go through some hard lessons, I prefer that short path so I can learn quickly and end up exactly where I need to. So, now remember, from the other day, if you saw my tarot from the other day, think of happy puppy things. If you get down, if you're getting stressed out, um, then all of a sudden people are gonna be coming to you that are in that same vibrational plane. So lift your vibration, lift um, your thoughts to happier things, even if it's just for 30 seconds. And then you'll be surprised at how things will turn around for you. And you'll be able to understand your high priestess or your higher self or your higher intuition. And you'll be able to get those messages you need. So hope this was helpful. Have a fantastic day. Bye.